This is not a review video and this is not a sales pitch, but instead this will be a walkthrough of this Calgary Barbell app and my thoughts about it. Bryce is a world-class power lifter and a coach. You really think people are gonna listen to your opinion? Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Brown Barbell Club. We will be dividing this video into three different paths. The first one is registering the app via Calgary Barbell website. The second part will be walkthrough of this app when you have this on your phone. And the last one will be what I liked about the app and if there is any improvement that they can do. So let's get started. For the registration of the app, you need to go to the Calgary Barbell website. Just type in Calgary Barbell in your browser, it should show up. I will put the link to Calgary Barbell in the description as well. So here it is, it's called the Ultimate Training App. After coming to the home page, you need to go to this button, Join Team Calgary Barbell Now. You will get access to 10 programs and there are two subscription models. The first one is 50 USD and the second one is 480 USD. And these will be the programs that you will have access to. It's a mixed program. They have speaking programs, equipped power lifting, and uh, for the off season power building for the beginners, intermediate, and their classic 16 week. So, based on their website, I think you will be able to browse all the programs and you will be having access to the current and the future programs that will be going on the Calgary Barbell website. Just need to set up the payments, download the app add the program and start training this app will work if you have an android phone or an iphone that's sweet here are some faqs if you want to read but i won't go into details but most of these tell you how you will be having subscription what programs you can use what if you don't like the program how is the mobile app and what if you want to cancel at any time Let's register the app first. I'm going with the monthly subscription. Choose monthly. You can go with the annual as well if you want to. Hit next. Email address. Make sure to remember your email address correctly because you will be using the same email to activate your app. Click next. Now here you have to set up your account and all your payment details. I'm assuming your monthly subscription will go from this card. Fill in your details. Once the payment is done, an email will be sent to the email that you have used for the registration process. Wait for one to two minutes. You should have it in your inbox. Okay, so after registering, you have to go to your email. It will have the link to the training app. So if you are using the iPhone or if you're using the Android, get that app use the same email address that you use for the decision okay password put your name last name what are these so oh, okay so you have to put your body weight one rep max on squat bench and deadlift that's good you can also do that in pounds if you want to i agree oh what are these questionnaires oh this is for if you have any medical conditions if you answer no, you are good to go. So these are all the programs that you will have access to. So you have total 10 programs. Choose a program, add to your calendar, choose the training days. Wow, that's good. That's neat. Save and add. Oh wow, then you will go on that day and it will show you what you have to do. That's good. So we have an introduction. Oh, hi Bryce. Hello out there and welcome to the nice. Calgary Barbell. So market has completed by using this button. Now move on to next exercise. Oh, so they have question videos for all the training programs and for all the exercise that you will be doing in that training program. That's neat. Okay, do your exercises on that day. Okay, that's good you know what you have to do on that day market has completed put your notes okay i missed my last rep on the squats feeling ashamed want to leave the planet you can put your notes it's okay and once you are done complete your workout and you are done for the day oh next thing is metrics the first one is volume and intensity hmm. 
that's neat so you have a, like a visual representation of whatever you are doing in your training block or whatever you have done in your that specific period so you can choose the specific period from from particular dates if you want to that's nice baseline volume and relative intensity that's nice I think it's good for intermediate and for the advanced lifters to have a look. Volume split by core lift. Oh, so these are all the metrics on like different bases. Wow, that's nice. And you can choose like whichever exercise you want to have a metrics on. So how many number of lifts that you have done, PR record table. So if you hit the PR during the block, you can just log in over here. That's good. Number of lifts, how many number of lifts that you have done like for the secondary lifts or for the primary lifts. And you can choose like if you want to see that metrics for on the monthly basis, day basis or for the weekly basis. That's good. Oh, they have a rep max estimator as well. That's good. That's good. Oh, and you can also choose the formula as well. Like which formula you want to use while. Oh, I never knew there are so many formulas. That's good. Oh, they have also included the RP table as well. I know some of you people don't use the RP calculator and you guys like follow this RP, RP chart. That's good. The best thing you don't have to like look up all these things on the internet everything is in one map that's good oh and you can also make custom reports as well for yourself let's say if you want to see how my squad did in that peaking block or in the volume block that's good that's nerdy i would say oh you can also delete your workout or move your workout so for example if you are on so if it is 14th May, you want to move this workout on the next day because you are not able to move it, you can move it. Well, that's nice. And this is your basic profile. Wow, that's good. Now you have seen how to register the app and now you have seen how it will look like if you have that on your phone. Now let's talk about what I liked about this app. The first thing that I really liked about this app is the accessibility. I'm really happy that just paying one subscription for life, you can have access to all the existing programs that Calgary Barbell has to offer. And also, if there will be new programs in the future, I'm sure there will be, they will be part of your this subscription model as well. So you don't have to buy the program from this coach or that coach from the Calgary Barbell. It will be part of this one app that you will be having for yourself. The second good thing I really like about this app is the correctional videos that they have for all the programs and all the exercise that you will do. I think this is really good for the beginners or for the intermediates. I remember the days when I started working out and I downloaded the program from somewhere from some website the program said you have to do the pendle rows now you don't have to go to the youtube and see like what are the pendle rows they have the correctional videos for every exercise that they have prescribed in their program for all the programs in the app if you are a beginner i would advise you to load the program into your calendar before going to the gym just watch those four videos for those four exercises that you will be doing for that particular day this way you will save time and you will have an exact plan what you have to execute in the gym. Another fancy thing that I liked about this app is the matrix. I know this is a bit nerdy and this is for more of like for the intermediate and for the advanced lifter. But I think it's really great when you have a visual representation of your training log or whatever you are doing in your training or in your peaking blog and in your off season. It's a fancy looking report card to measure your progress. Last but not the least, you can access your training log as well. I know there are different apps out there, especially RTS app and Jagannath AI app and there are other spreadsheets as well with which you can track your training but i think it's amazing to have your training logs alongside matrix and alongside all the programs that you can access from one calgary barbell with one subscription model and the best thing about the training log is that you can always reflect back when it was going good and you can make decisions for the upcoming training blocks or the further development blocks 
Okay, this is not a complaint, but I think they can bring up this one improvement feature. And that thing is there should be another subscription model for the people who don't want access to all the programs. So I'm thinking of all those beginners who are happy with the Calgary Barbell 16 week program or the Calgary Barbell eight week program, and they just want to log their training. I'm suggesting two subscription models. The first model is what they already have where user can have access to all the programs and everything and all the metrics. And the second model is where the user just want to log their training and have some few basic metrics. And user have option to migrate from the subscription model two to one at any time. Other than that, I don't have any comments for the app. App looks really smooth. There were no crashes in the last one week that I have been using, so which is great. And I think there's a lot of effort that they have put into in designing the UI and all the metrics, and it's really, really user friendly. All right, that was everything for the day. If you have gotten your hands on this app, please let us know in the comment box what your thoughts are, share your feedback, let us know what you like, what you didn't. That was our honest opinion by looking at this app. Till next video, be strong, stay safe.